Hi everyone, my name is Stephen J. Humphrey. Kings Park on a home game at Bournemouth for Cherries. Um, independent parliamentary candidate and I'm really trying to be optimistic but I just can't. I just watched uh, Alex Jones and Luke Wadowski's New World Order Part 1 to 9 on YouTube and it's done my head in. Um, I want to ask you all some questions in this run up to the general election. I mean, we're, we're less than a month away from May. It's April the 3rd today. And in about five weeks' time, we're going to have a general election. Or, or that's the predicted date, May the 6th, for a general election. And we haven't got official announcement. If I was Prime Minister, I would, I would want to get the announcement of a general election out there as quick as pos so that I can give my troops, I can give the electorate, the voters every opportunity to talk to their candidates to get the policies out there in the public domain and yet Gordon Brown sits there in Downing Street ignoring the voice of the people we don't have a general election. We only have speculation. We only have hearsay. The part, I think it's the Parliament Act and the Bill of Rights that says, and our, our general law says, that we must have a general election every five years. Now that deadline, the five-year deadline, runs out on June the 3rd. So Gordon Brown could ignore the pundits, ignore the majority vote of the people, could ignore everything and just say we're going to have a general election June the 3rd. And I can't afford to print off 50,000 leaflets. I can't afford to pay £11,000 to the newspaper to get some full page ads in the newspaper. I can't afford even to go over there and watch football. And then the questions I would like to ask you is, if I can't afford to run for Parliament, how do I get my concerns into Parliament. How do I tell the Parliament that this law is broken? How do I tell Parliament that this law is unfair? How do I tell Parliament that I'm at risk? How do I tell Parliament to help me look after myself? How do I tell Parliament to legislate against the New World Order? How do I tell Parliament to stop a Hitler getting into power? How? And look, look this, this is Bournemouth. Alright, this is King's Park. Fucking fun fairs. And 10,000 people are watching football, ignoring this, this kind of concern. Now, I'd like to ask you, how do I get my concerns heard if I can't afford to go on the telly? If my issue is not newsworthy? How do I tell you my concerns? How do I tell the job centre to stop stopping my benefits? Because I can't find a job. How do I tell social services to give me back my kids? How do I tell the coppers to stop nicking my van? How? If the whole system is abuse, is bankrupt, is corrupt, is incompetent, is not competent, is not fit for purpose to help me. I am independent, free, 
person. I am a human being first. I was born. That is the, all the fundamental rights I need. I was born. I am a real human being. And yet the fucking fascist pigs want to kill us. The pharma, pharmaceutical com companies want to inject poison into my blood. The doctors prescribe Prozac that gives you diarrhea. The doctors put you in hospital. Now how do I tell Parliament to stop it? How do I tell Parliament to get the law sorted out? If my MP, Tobias Elwood, Conservative, Tory, doesn't listen to me, doesn't answer my emails. How do we get fundamental constitutional reform onto the statute book if my MP, the Tory party, the Conservatives, don't answer my emails? When I phone them up, how, do, how, do, how does he ignore my call? How do we fix it if the people we elect into office ignore us? How do we fix the police that are walking around like Robocop? How do we tell them to take off the body armour when we're slammed to the dirt under arrest? How? How do we change this world if nobody fucking listens? How do we change the world if people like me are ignored? How do we change the world if all the pigs have got their noses in the trough? How do we fix the planet if big business is chucking out carbon dioxide? How do we fix it where Mountain tops should not be fucking destroyed. How do we build a better future for us all if nobody listens to us? How do we fix it? Come on, tell me. I am frustrated to hell. I firmly believe we are living in hell of man's creation. Forget religion. Forget politics, forget parties, forget money. Answer the one simple basic question. How do we fix it if we are ignored? How? If Tobias Elwood, my elected MP, ignores me for 18 months. 18 months ago I told him about a lot of this reform, this need for fundamental reform of how we govern ourselves. 18 months ago, I told him there is a problem. 18 months ago, I told him everything that I need fixed. And he hasn't responded. I even told him to his face last Friday. He's ignored me. Like yesterday, I sent out half a dozen emails. I, s I posted a few videos. And still he hasn't responded. My MP, the guy that you guys elect into office, ignores me. Now you can think, oh he's just ranting and raving. He's just one man spouting bullshit. I'm not. Because the question I would like to ask you all is, if I am ignored, what happens when you have a concern? When you have a need to talk to your MP? What happens? How do you tell your MP to fix it if he ignores you? If he doesn't respond to your phone calls? When he's off flying to Iraq to talk to his buddies in the army and telling us that morphine is good for business. Heroin kills people. This new one, methadrone, kills people. 
people's lives are at risk every minute they ignore us. Every minute that they decide not to answer our emails, people die. Part one. My name is Stephen J. Humphrey. I'm in a rant and a rave as, you, as your prospective independent candidate while the guys have the fun watching football.